fucking hell. I'm looking at you from the back. Your head's just getting redder and redder as the fucking... I'm like, either that lad's been on holiday really recently or he's about to have a fucking stroke. We might not... Max, we're going to need you to get involved very soon here. I need you to fucking keep a keen eye on what's happening. Um, the funniest thing about that was watching there was uh, whenever we were chatting to Max, there was girls at the back getting a fucking creak in their neck trying to figure out what he looked like and to go, what's fucking, what's going on here? Um, girls, he's all right. He's all right. He's pretty fucking, pretty hot, like. Not hot enough to, for me to question his sexuality, hot. There's, and that's out there. It's hot, you know, but he's not that hot. But last year I met Chris Hemsworth. You know Thor? Guys, that is fucking hot. That is, like... I thought I was straight, and then I met him and realized I just grew up in a small town. But do you know what I mean? Oh, fuck me. Like, guys, he's like 6'4", just muscles. He could just pick you up and hug you. And even if you didn't want to, but you would love it if he did it. And his eyes were so blue. I was just drowning in them. It was fucking amazing. Um, no, seriously. I, guys, if you're a straight guy and you're not a, attracted to Chris Hemsworth, I think you're gay. Like... <laughs> That's how that works. The, um, I love being here. Max all dressed up. I think you're all fucking really dressed up, guys. I've been impressed walking around Liverpool. Your fashion's just on point. Lots of perfect white teeth, which definitely doesn't look natural. But um, <laughs> some fucking very rich dentists around here. But um, no, but everyone's dressed well. Like, not everyone. Hey, come on. So Euro Millions night. You know, it's fucking you cut hit. Um, no, it is. It's all catwalk ready all the time. Like, I come from a very different place. Ours is more of a sort of a Victoria's Secret vibe with fashion. Uh, if the secret was a terrible diet and no exposure to sunlight your whole life, the, um, <laughs> the fucking vampires just walking around. Um, the, uh, amazing. This is the best, man. You're so friendly. Uh, people have been really fucking wary of me recently. So I shaved my head, and uh, it turns out that I look quite, quite mental. Um, <laughs> My dad seen me and he was like, oh, John, do you have uh, what they call resting cold dead eyes of a serial killer face? Um, it's difficult to hear, you know. So you can't really do much about that. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to smile more, but trying to smile more just makes you look fucking even crazier. I, mean, I just look delighted to be mental. The, um, I knew it was a bad idea when I shaved my head because my Uber rating dropped two points. I thought, I hadn't even ordered any. They're just fucking driving around going, fuck that guy. Brexit head. I, um, actually, somebody called me Brexit head and I knew that's when I was going to keep it because I figured next year I'll be fine when my brothers get fucking booted back. They have to deal with my dad again. The, um, I, I love the Brexit stuff. Guys, I fucking love it. I think it's brilliant. It's class. People are losing their minds and that's the best thing in the world to watch. Do you know what I mean? You see in Facebook all the time, those people are like, no. I will not be silenced anymore. And two minutes later, you just think, just shut the fuck up. Like, that's all you want, you know? They, even it, it's spreading. Even in Ireland now, people are gone on this Brexit thing. There's people in Ireland starting a movement for an Irish exit of the EU. But they're fucked from square one. No, seriously, what are you going to call it? And a Brexit just sounds weird, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody's getting behind that. They, um, an erection, probably better, but um, no, but I love it. I do love it here. I've been here for five years now, and uh, it's great. England's great, do you know what I mean? Cricket baffles me, but the Queen seems like a lovely wee woman. It's give and take, you know? <laughs> and so people, people are a bit weird, sort of weird and confused when I tell them that me, even as an immigrant, I'm actually pro-Brexit. No, not for any political reason, do you know what I mean? I couldn't give a shit about these clowns leaving the EU. I just can't wait until English girls find Irish men exotic again. <laughs> oh, guys, 2019 is my time. That's going to that's gonna be like growing a half a foot for me. Do you know what I mean? I know I look like a bricklayer from Legoland, but I'm fucking, I'm getting in there. It does it. And by the way, don't get me wrong. Like, I might be short, but I do okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm charming. I've got a back like a pool table and shoulders for days. I make moves. I'm out there. I'm in the streets. Um, I've been seeing a girl recently, and uh, this girl is just incredible. She's just... Uh, what was that? <laughs> there was somebody so shocked that anyone would fucking date me. 
I wish I had a photo of her because it makes way less sense when you see her. Like, she's fucking incredible. She's taller than me and she's real. She's like a Disney princess. She's from the Middle East, right? But her mum is a Geordie. Now, that is a potent brew of genetics, guys. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's fucking, you have to tread lightly around Jenna. It was, it's like scientists got together in a lab and weaponized rage, just put it in a beautiful little body, and then we're like, fuck, what do we do with it? Let's just give it to this guy. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, great, 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 great. The, um, like, I've lived through a lot of terrorist shit all my life, both at home and here, but ISIS has nothing on Jenna when she's in a fucking mood, honestly. <laughs> Guys, every time I leave the toilet seat up, I'm afraid I'm going to get you had it. It's fucking terrifying <laughs> for me. Luckily for me, though, the Geordie side is super strong, so when she does flip out, I can always get her back on side with a can of special brew and a sausage roll. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking even ISIS can't top them jeans. Do you know what I mean? There's only so much. <laughs> yeah. So I did that joke, and somebody said to me, uh, excuse me, that's racist, actually? Actually, that's racist and stereotypical, and I find that disgusting. You're playing on lazy stereotypes. Now, can we all just agree that some stereotypes are there for a reason? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, some things are just in you culturally. For instance, I was never in the IRA, but I'm pretty sure if you lock me in a room with some milk bottles and petrol, eventually I'm coming out with a bomb. <laughs> like, yeah? I didn't train for that. You guys in the same room, teeing crumpets, whatever the fuck crumpets are. Do you know what I mean? It's just in you. You can't get annoyed at that. Yeah. Um, but that's... Are you okay, mate? It's fucking... I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Max has gone to sleep, but I'm keeping an eye. Don't worry, I'm ready. I'm trained. I was sick recently. Um, because people, much like you, people kept telling me, God, John, you have a great color on you and you're losing weight. No, that wasn't uh, exercise in a tan. That was early onset diabetes and high blood pressure. Do you know what I mean? That was fucking... <laughs> I needed someone to give me a doctor and possibly rub chocolate in my face. And, uh, but I went and get it checked out, right? And I was, like, went to the doctor and I uh, got myself checked and he got the blood pressure monitor on, you know? And as it was sort of pumping up, I could see this bead of sweat pop out on his head. And I was like, that doesn't, are you okay, Doc? And he was like, yeah, 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 John. Um, John, I really need you to calm down. Oh, I was completely calm. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, I don't understand what you mean. He was like, I really need you to calm down. I don't, like, telling someone to calm down is not a good way to get anyone to calm down, especially when they're feeling pretty fucking calm at that moment. Do you know what I mean? I was like, Doc, I'm super calm. And he was like, no, your high blood pressure uh, would lead me to believe that you're about to have a stroke right now. And I was like, I think I might just be an Irish person and you've never met us before because fucking we exist on an eight. Do you know what I mean? That's how I live my life. He was like, no, John, this is very dangerous. Like, we need to make moves about this right now. We need to get you calmed down. We need to, we need, you need to change your diet. We're going to get you some aspirins. It was good. I was all right. He was like, no more vigorous sex sessions. I thought, that's fine. Um, <laughs> fucking, my back is in bits and my knees fucked. You know what I mean? I might need you to get to have a look at it later, actually, because I've been fucking twinging. So, actually, he was like, no more caffeine. Now, that's a fucking, I draw the line there. Do you know what I mean? I don't do drugs, guys. That's all I've got left. A fucking double espresso is like heroin to me. Do you know what I mean? You know when you're sweaty and you're about to shit yourself, it's really hot. Like, that's the buzz. That's the buzz. I love it. It's like train spotting. That's how I get my kicks. <laughs> but he goes, the most important thing, John, the most important thing is you absolutely cannot get angry. You can't get stressed. You can't get angry. It's very bad for you. Your blood pressure goes up. Your heart rate's going to go up. You're in danger of having a stroke, danger of having a heart attack. Very bad. No more stress, no more anger. Now, the thing he didn't know about me, guys, is I love being angry. <laughs> being angry is what gets me through the day. Do you know what I mean? I fucking love it. It's, it's my drive. Like, I wake up in the morning, look out the window, see a bird chirping, chirp, 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 and I think, fucking bird, and I'm off to the races. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I look for stuff to annoy me. I burn my toast on purpose just to fucking get me going in the day. Like, I'm out. I fucking love it. Oh, oh, I love it. I was walking down the street the other day, right? I seen this guy, seen this guy walking down the street. He's in his 40s, right? He's in his 40s. He's wearing a hat on backwards and a hoodie. That's already two fucking strikes for me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was almost about to clothesline him, but I think you can't do that anymore. It's fucking terrible. PC gone, Matt. But anyway, so I seen him, right? And I'm thinking, this fucking bell end. And as he gets closer, I can see, right? And his hoodie says, even my feelings have feelings. I thought, really, like, that's where you're at? Even your feelings have feelings. 
This guy's old enough that his granddad probably fucking fought in the Second World War. Do you know what I mean? He's stabbing fucking Nazis in a ditch, but your feelings have feelings. Do you know what I mean? How fucking can you even walk down the street, you creep? Guys, dude, you can't do that. Oh, even my feelings. Whatever happened to the fucking stiff upper lip, guys? Whatever happened to his character? It's no wonder the Russians are fucking poisoning people in your streets here with your feelings having feelings. Swallow them down. Swallow them down and have a fucking stroke at 34 like everyone else. It's just, you know what I mean? It's, I need to chill out, do you know what I mean? I need to fucking calm down. <laughs> I, uh, I actually did get worried when the doc was like, here, you might almost fucking die if you just carry on walking. So I, uh, I need to relax. You know? And uh, so to relax, I decided, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take myself on holiday, treat myself. But guys, you know what I mean? I'm not a fucking pleb. I wanted the full star treatment. So I went to New York on St. Patrick's Day because that is fucking where you get it with this accent. Do you know what I mean? There's no extra cost. It was amazing. It was like a celebrity. It's fucking people just walking on the streets launch. I mean, look at me. I couldn't look any more Irish if I was wearing a Guinness hat. Like, that's all I'll be fucking honest. So this fucking people going. It was brilliant. People were just firing drinks at me. It was amazing. Everything was free. It was like being at a conference for everyone's class. I was in this bar, right, one night. I'm in this bar. It's just one of them nights. You know, one of them lovely, warm nights and everyone's having the crack and it just, it's building the whole time you're there and it's class and I'm chatting away to people and there's people at the bar going fuck are you Irish I am Irish that's amazing have a drink class are you Irish I am Irish my great great granny was Irish I probably know her have a drink I'll have two fucking drinks come on we'll have drinks all together it was class it was just fucking brilliant you know I, after a while I'm inducting people into the IRA just fucking drunk for the crack we're building operations that's what happens right? I actually asked my dad once I was like my dad's probably the right age I was like daddy were you ever in the IRA and he goes well I wasn't never not not in the IRA and I thought I'll just leave that line of question to someone else. But uh, so I'm in this bar, right? And fucking, it's closing time. We're getting out and it's full, you know, and I'm just fucking loving life. I get outside and it's a lovely, cold, crisp night. You know, it's colder than a witch's tit, but it's lovely to be out and about and feeling the warmth. And I'm walking down the street and I'm thinking, go, how do I get home? And hop on this one of their choo choo trains, right? Um, which I believe is a technical term. And, uh, <laughs> And I get on this train, and it was a lovely train, and I sat next, I got snuggled up next to these two lads. There was a homeless guy on this side, and I knew he was homeless because he looked like a homeless guy. And, uh, <laughs> and now you all know what he looked like. And so I'm there on that side, and then on this side, just fucking giant marine-looking guy. And he was really scary to look at for a second, but he also, the more I looked at him, looked like he was carrying two big pillows in his arm. And I'm thinking, this is brilliant for me. Because I'm fucking lovely and warm, and he's knocking me off. Come on, man, it's Paddy's Day. And, uh, and I was just getting warm and feeling in my chest, and I was getting so relaxed, you know, that walking on the train tracks. And I was just going along, it's brilliant. And I couldn't fucking, I couldn't do it anymore, do you know what I mean? I just fell asleep, head in the top pocket, out for the count. Next thing I wake up with a guy beside me, he goes, Hey, buddy, the homeless guy just stole all your shit. <laughs> now, I have my wallet and my passport in this pocket, right? And he's away. I'm fucking, guys, I'm straight after him. This is, I feel like I'm in a fucking detective movie. Do you know what I mean? Run, run down the streets. And I see him, he's running down these streets in New York. And I was actually feeling pretty good about myself. You know, I was going and going, I need to get this back. Because it's not a good time to be an illegal immigrant in New York. Do you know what I mean? Thank fuck for the Mexicans. But Ireland isn't that far behind. And guys, I corner him, right? I corner him in the street. And I didn't know what I was going to do. Because it feels bad to slap a homeless person. But... Someone stole my shit, so someone's getting a fucking slap in the mouth. And, um, and I got him, right? And I fucking got the guy, and he goes, give me my stuff, man. He goes, there's no stuff, there's no stuff. I said, give me the fucking stuff. There's no stuff. And I slapped him, right? And the fucking passport appears. I'm like, great, it is him. Where's the wallet? There's no wallet. There's a fucking wallet. Where's the wallet? There's no wallet. I slap him again. The wallet comes out. Where's the cards? There's no cards. I slap him again. The card's like a pest dispenser. There's fucking cards coming out. It's like a magician at this stage. There's cards. There's doves coming out of the top of his jacket. There's a woman levitating over here. It's fucking Where's the money? There's no money. And I fucking slap him again. The money comes out like a cloud. I feel like a stripper. At this point, I'm thinking, this is the best night of my life. Like, and guys, I'm walking away. I'm leaving him in a bloody heap. And I walk away. And I'm feeling pretty good of myself. And I think, fuck, I probably need to stop drinking. But I'm still feeling good. And then I remembered, I'd actually spent all my money in the last bar. <laughs> so what I'd done there was actually just robbed a homeless guy. Um, <laughs> But guys, let me tell you something. If you ever get robbed by a homeless guy, slapping him in the fucking mouth a few times feels pretty good. Guys, I've been John Maher. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>